Ladies and gentlemen, we got the Beatbox Future Loops Panther Dance. Beatbox Loop Pedal, what a title, 11 years ago. Let me subscribe and like, because I haven't subscribed to this yet. But I know who the Beatbox is. He's a, is a old school beatboxer and one of the first loop station artists I've ever seen. I think him alongside Birdie Man and Tom Thumb. But I think this guy was was one of the pioneers of the beatbox looping alongside dub effects who is top right there Ooh, with reaps one nice so we're going to be checking this out i don't think i've seen this yet if i will i'll let you guys know but if i have seen this it'll probably be when this released 11 years ago so it's been a while this was a donor request by lindsey clark thank you very much let's get it go support the beatbox <clears throat> okay cool yeah this already oh. it makes it sound so authentic oh he makes it sound good Yo, editor bro, zoom in here. I got a tear of joy. This happens when I when I see amazing stuff. It's a tear of joy right here. Zoom in on it, bro. You see how y'all see the glistening? Yeah, it's because of this. Run that run that trumpet. That that is one of the sexiest trumpets I've ever heard. The sexiest human beatbox trumpets I've heard, man. The trumpet. Everything he does sounds so clean. Yeah, clean. How do you... That's how you do it. Oh. I like how he announces it with a and then he goes into it. You know what I mean? I like that. You two have a good day. There we go. I was expecting when, when the percussion coming in. Oh, it's drum and bass. Okay. Yeah, you know the man's got a rhythm. Yeah, you know the man's got a rhythm. 
That was so beautiful, but it was dope. You know, it was dope. See, man, this is the this is the essence of Loop Station beatboxing. This is the essence. This is where it started. Well, one of the you know dudes that started it, and this is that true essence, which sometimes I feel like modern day Loop Station artists, or like when we watch battles, when we watch yeah, mainly battles, you just the, the, like the true essence of it is kind of lost in the sauce of just electronic devices making everything sound incredibly dope, and there is a time and place for that, and it is also epic, you know. But when you hear something as passionate and beautiful as this, it resonates. Like you feel this, y'all was feeling this too. That's a joy you said you were dancing in inside or what you say, right? It's feel good vibes, man. It makes you feel good. There's other uh, loopers that I that also move you in this in this manner. And I'll give a, a few examples. One of them is MB14. Another one of them is uh, Beardy Man, for example. And there's probably a bunch more that I'm just not aware of. But Dub Effects as well. Dub Effects as well. Man, this guy's good. Even 11 years later, this still sounds incredible. It's just because the way he executed the sounds that he chose to use and the way that he structured the piece with a long buildup and there were multiple highlights. The trumpets was a highlight the, and then towards the end, the singing. He did like a little solo with the trumpet and how authentic that they sounded. It sounded like it was a band doing it. It actually sounds like a trumpet. It actually sounds like there's... there's you can't really tell unless you're an expert at beatboxing or you're an avid listener you know you have some expertise some understanding and you would hear this being played on the radio you'd say is that a beatboxer but to the to the ordinary person who isn't that familiar with beatboxing i don't think they can tell like oh this is a beatboxer this this sounds like a jazz band or something like a smoky jazz lounge a little bit of drum and bass here and there uh, i personally think this was absolutely beautiful to be th thank you for the request now now i want to watch more beatbox this stuff is great man <laughs> 